Welcome to the show, guys. Woo. Early morning, early rise. It's all about breakfast. It is breakfast time, y'all. Really when the guru starts. Right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt, we got a beautiful show planned for everybody. We haven't done breakfast. We've never done breakfast, guys. So we're going to do some breakfast burritos. You're going to show people how to make homemade breakfast sausage. Yeah, their own breakfast sausage. Make you, it, make, you, do it yourself. And you got, with the meat you're using today is what? Ground pork. Ground pork. You could do ground turkey. You could yeah. do ground beef, beef whatever you, you want. You could do ground lamb. You, you, could probably do do, you, you could probably even do like turkey or, or, or deer or something like that. And no matter what you use, get it from... Chompon! Chompons. Chompons, y'all, hey, that's a food sponsor. We got to support. <laughs> we probably got this bottle of wine. Chompons. We did. You know what I'm saying? We did. Oh, yeah. We did get that. Though. Oh, yeah. So, look, so we got some tortillas. Yep. We got some crawfish tails. Yep. We, we got, got some onions, onions, eggs, what, cheese. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Vanilla extract, you put that in your eggs? Put that on top. Yeah, you sprinkle it in the No. Meat. Okay, so what else are we doing? Some pepe do. We're going to do, we're going to use the French like bread. S- okay, everybody say it with me. Pan pan do. Pan pan do. Pan pan do. Yeah, you love that. <laughs> We're gonna do. We're gonna use French bread to make French bread. French that's toast. Right. French toast. Yeah. Huh. For those that don't know what pan pan do, that, 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 that's that French toast your mama cooked for you with sugar and cinnamon and pan seared that with a little egg wash. Oh Lord. Good. Good it's stuff. Be real good. So, right, so what you want to do, man? You ready? Let's get, get started. Yeah. You want to start chopping, or you want to throw it to break? Uh, you yeah. Let's go to break. We'll clean up a little bit and get ready for when y'all come back. And when y'all come back. It's going to be breakfast time. That's right. Eggs for everybody. We're going to go to the chicken coop. Y'all stay tuned. Come back, see. Welcome back to the show, guys. Hey, you smile a lot. Why not? <laughs> Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> happy. <laughs> Y'all, it's been a long day, but we're cooking breakfast, so it's actually we're going to play it like it's morning, right? It almost is. <laughs> <laughs> it almost the, the roosters are growing. Look at the eggs. Got some cocos. Okay, so what you doing? We're going to make our own breakfast sausage. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard, huh? No, it's not bad at all. So you start with some uh, whatever li- uh, pork you want, 80, 20, 90, 10. How fat content I was trying to say. Right, right. This is some 80, 20 uh, ground pork. So from that, very easy. Just take your little all-purpose seasoning. Dust it. It's just kind of like making a hamburger. So we're gonna put a little seasoning. And but this is and there's two things that that make uh, breakfast sausage breakfast sausage. One of them is fresh ground black pepper. Oh yeah. Because you can taste the difference. Can you put too much? Yes. Is it tough? Yeah. It's tough to put too much. And the other one is sage. Now, sage comes in two varieties, three varieties. Fresh, which I have a plant in my house that I like. Ground or rubbed. And what rubbed sage is, it's kind of like, more like the whole leaves. Okay, See? yeah. It's, uh, they just kind of press it versus grind it up. And it preserves a lot of the natural flavor. And if you want it finer, you can take it in your hand and grind it up if you want. If that's what you want. But right. this, mm. Ooh. Yeah. Also, sage is great spice for uh, chicken, too. So. How much to put? And remember, what's I was saying? See, <laughs> you, you can always put yeah, more. You can't it's, take it away. So we're going to start with about, that was about a half a teaspoon, right? And how do you know when it's enough? Just smell it. When it smells like sage, it's good enough. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and scramble. We got six eggs in there. Scramble them up. We're going to add a little bit of that's a, that's whole a, milk. That's a rocky uh, Balboa milkshake. Man, how you like that? I did that one time. Oh, look at that. I did. I drank it, and it's almost like eating oysters. Yeah, I did it. I did it once too. Once. <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, with the scrambled eggs, we're just gonna scramble them up, and then we're gonna put a, the griddle. Uh, we got a little chef's cast iron griddle on the Cajun grill. Yes, sir. We're gonna heat it up, not too hot. We're gonna have it at the lowest setting. We got the air damper shot. We got the uh, coal tray at the lowest setting. And then we're gonna just, uh, you know, slowly cook the scrambled egg. We're gonna season it to taste. And then what we're gonna do with all this once it's cooked? Uh, I'm gonna eat some. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know but, about you, but I mean, uh, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna basically make some uh, breakfast burritos. Absolutely. We're gonna take some onions. We're gonna cut them julienne. We're gonna put them in a saute pan on the grill with a little bit of butter. Kind of soften them up a bit. We're gonna have the breakfast sausage. We're gonna cook that. And we're gonna crumble that up, and then mix the scrambled eggs once they're already cooked. 
with a little bit of breakfast sausage, a little bit of eggs, a little bit of seasoning, Some cheese. a lot of cheese. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna wrap them. And then we're gonna because everything's gonna be hot. It could melt the cheese, but we're gonna we're not satisfied with that. New. No. We're gonna put it back in a little saute pan, and we're gonna put it back on the grill to where it just marries everything yeah, up. Everything's gonna be good. Yeah. Good, good. And then we're gonna work on the pan pan do. And then we have we also have uh, we y'all might have seen when we opened we have some. Uh, some smoked sausage, some champagne smoked sausage. I like smoked sausage for breakfast, so we'll have a little bit of that on the side. It's gonna be like a buffet. It's a buffet, it's a and, buffet. and I tell you what, you've been saying for three shows how you want to thank your wife for making these shirts. Have yes. you yet? I have, last you show, did? but I'm gonna thank her some more. Well, I think you ought to, because she's a lovely woman. She is, t-shirts, etc. of Jennings. Uh, my wife, Paulette, my lovely wife, Paulette, she makes us these, huh, hey, sure. <laughs> About that much. About that much. That's how much we put in stuff. About that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a bunch of them. Y'all going to be seeing them all season long. And if you want one, get in touch with us on our Facebook page. And keep them We got happy. a Facebook page? No, I've been, I've been uh, updating it. You've been much. busy. Oh, no, I've, been, I've been watching you, bro. You've yeah. been doing a good job. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that. We appreciate all of our followers. If you remember last show, uh, or a couple shows ago, we had a, we had an unexpected guest from... Uh, Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Was it, is well, it Iowa? Uh, Iowa from up north somewhere. He was a truck driver that was bringing us a load. He got here a little too late, so he had to spend the night in the parking lot in his truck. But he ate good that night. He did. What? And then as it, as it turned out, his uh, his wife and her friend were already fans of the show. Get out of here. Can you believe that? I don't. In Iowa. In, uh, in here Iowa. Here we go. Iowa. All right. Go do it. Matt, go follow him. See what he's up to. All right, we're gonna pour the eggs in there. Like I said, oh, and I added a little bit of extra flavor, some wood flavor in there. I got some. What you put? I put some pecan chunk. Oh, nice. I don't know if you could smell it, but you see, we're using a base. I don't know if you can see that. I'm at. We got a base fuel down there of lump charwood. It's oak, pecan, and hickory, and then we added a couple of fresh logs, uh, green logs I call them, and you can see that extra smoke being imparted into the food. And we're just gonna close this. We're gonna check this in a little while. How your patties coming, Mr. Curry? They're coming along just fine. Yeah? Now look, I'm gonna show you all a little tip, guys. Matt, if you come in a little tight, you're gonna see what's happening. As I'm making it, see how it's starting to stick like this and pull apart? It looks like fuzzy almost. The reason why this happens is the proteins are starting to stick together. So there's an easy solution. And I'm gonna walk away for just a second. Walk away. And, and I'm gonna show Step you. Step away, bro. Walk away! All right. So while you're doing that, stepping away, washing your hands, I'm gonna start on these onions. How about that? Go ahead. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm joking. So all you have to do is wet your hands. <laughs> if you wet your hands, oh look watch, at I'll, you. I'll show you the one I was just doing. If you wet your hands, everything nice and neat, no more sticking. So you just rinse them once or twice while you're doing this, and you won't have any issues. So what caused that? I didn't catch that. The proteins are starting to, it's starting to marry. Oh, they're married. Now, when the protein, the proteins are, uh, when they start to dehydrate, they get sticky. So we want to rehydrate them by putting water. And there we go, just like that. All right. We got a silly baby. Look at that. A little uh, one. Sure, baby. Now look, we, you can you can dice the onions, guys. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put them. Uh, if you want bell peppers, you can put them. We don't have them. You like jalapenos? You like it hot? You want some chili peppers? I mean, you do it like you want. We're just kind of keeping it simple right here. So we're gonna take these onions right here. We're gonna put them in a little, another little skillet. Where's that little petite skillet? Uh, well, we're, there we're you gonna, go. Look on the, on the. It's hanging on the wall. There it is. On so we're gonna wall. take this. We're gonna scoot this over a little bit. Now look at look at the egg. The eggs already. They're starting to set. Yep. Look at that. So we're just gonna kind of stir this around. Man, it smells good. Oh. So everybody's saying right now who hasn't watched this show, man, what's these cool y'all cooking on a barbecue pit? Why they want to do that? Well, we're not cooking on a barbecue pit. It's a Cajun grill. It's a Cajun grill. And, and you know why we why we doing it? Because we can. Because we can. Why you know, it, we treat we treat that grill as a heat source. So we cook everything. We've made cornbread. We did do some cornbread. It's a chili cook-off. And the, it was good. The best cornbread I've ever had. We cook rice all the time. Yeah. We did it last show. Um, we do it a lot. So there's nothing we can't cook on here. I right. think we're gonna bake a cake one time. Just, <laughs> just to. Well, that with some ice cream. <laughs> like that. Keep throwing butter around like you oh, like, like I care. Yeah. Just like that, guys. So we're gonna cook off that sausage and then uh, now, okay, uh, pork, 
Uh, this pork is 80-20, so it's going to have some fat, so you want to kind of use the periphery if you can. You don't want that fat di dripping on the direct fire because it'll flare up. Right. And, but even if it does, close the lid, shut the air dampers, and we're going to let Mother Nature take with, care of it. Oh, yeah, with just a few seconds, that fire is out. The fire is going to go out because there's not enough oxygen to support that, that level of combustion, and it'll just go away. That's right. So, all those eggs are looking good. Oh, you saw that? Look at that. Look, Look at, at that, that, boy. Come kiss your paw, Ram. Right, dang it. Oh, that looks nice. All right, bro. So look, why don't we go ahead and throw it to break? We'll kind of keep stirring these eggs, y'all. We're going to saute these onions. And hey, we're going to have a little surprise to at the end. We're going to oh. do something with some crawfish. Oh, because we can. That's yeah, because we got some. Yeah, well, it's crawfish season, and there's nothing better than a little bit of crawfish on the Cajun grill, huh? Come back to you, Scott. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We got the eggs cooked and off the grill. So good. Delicious, y'all. Okay, you and put then, a little uh, milk in his eggs, and I recommend y'all do too. Uh, it adds flavor and adds a little extra, a little fat in there. A little so fluffiness. Good. Yeah. And then we got the sauteed onions grilling in there. Let's let's see. We got a lot on the grill, man. We got. Well, I tell them about it when we can show them. That's Look a this. pot heaven full of grill or grill full of pots or something. It's something like that. We got a lot of room and we got we pots got, to fill it. That's what I love about the Cajun. So we're going to do our pempe do in here. This is going to be our crawfish skillet. That's the, that's the secret ingredient. That's the, sec that's the secret dish. Uh, our onions are, are, are smothering them down real nice. We have our little breakfast sauces that we made that I'm going to take off right now. Yeah, because they're done. Yeah, they're done. I did with my tongs. There they are. Here we so go. if you remember, guys, we did the. Uh, we, this was just some 80/20 ground pork, and we mixed in some uh, some of our all-purpose seasoning, and uh, a little fresh cracked black pepper and, and sage. And sage, right? That's, that's our secret. Yep, we got the little one, right here, like that. And we're gonna chop that up to make our breakfast burrito. We're gonna put that with the eggs, with the onion, with the cheese, with the cheese, and with the crawfish. With the crawfish. Is that what the crawfish is for? The crawfish. It can be, and it, it might be. <laughs> it might be. But now we're going to make the batter for the for, pan pan, for the pan, pan okay. okay. So you got two eggs. Two eggs. How much is that? This is one cup of sugar. And then how much milk you want? Let's do uh, let's do probably two cups of milk. Let's do one and see where that gets uh -huh. us. That's going to be about yeah. Let's go like that. There you go. One and a half. Come so. All right. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, traditionally, my mom used to put cinnamon. You can put cinnamon. You don't have yeah. to put cinnamon. You could put uh, you could put any of the warm spices, nutmeg or allspice or whatever. You could put all-purpose seasoning. You could put whatever you want to put. Whatever you want. You could change the flavor uh, altogether. You could put dried basil. But we're basically getting a, a certain amount of flavor from the the vanilla. The so vanilla is going to substitute. That's right. That's instead right. Instead of the instead of the cinnamon. So. This, guys, essentially this is a custard. That's it? It's a custard. That's all right? it is. So, but instead of cooking it slow, we're gonna help it, we're gonna use it to help us make a batter. And, and instead, a of, instead of using, you know, good evangelist made loaf bread, Which, sliced there's nothing, bread. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, we're gonna pull out all the stuff, y'all. We're gonna make French toast with French bread. Now, how you wanna cut this? You wanna cut it from no, no, side and cut no, it in no. half? Ah, uh, like a, uh, what, uh, look, my lady. Now the secret, there you go, perfect. Now the secret to French toast, guys, is you have to let the bread soak. You have to let the liquid get in, into the middle. You don't want it to fall apart, but you don't want to just dunk it and put it in the pan. Right. That's not gonna work. You gotta let it sit a little bit, okay? So, we got this mixed up, that looks good. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna cook these, this side down. So we put them in, and we're gonna just let them sit there. For, let, them, let them sit there and, and Soak up enjoy, the love. Enjoy where they are. They're in the bath, bruh. Hot tub. You enjoy it. You enjoy a good bath. Let them enjoy a good bath. <laughs> so how long? Until it starts to get heavy. See how they're kind of floating around right now? We don't want them to float around. Mm -mm. You want them to weigh down. We want them to, yeah, we want some of that to get in there. You press them down a little bit. It'll act like a sponge. Flip them over and let the same thing happen on the other side. And then from that point, you go straight to the, straight to the pan. Now I'm going to put some butter in there. Please do. Yes, and sir. Watch, Matt, go follow Keith. If the pan's too hot, if that butter sizzles like it's crazy, you're gonna wanna back off a little bit because this needs time to cook. It has a lot of raw egg in it, 
and we so we don't want it to brown too quick. It also has a lot of sugar in it, as you've seen, and the sugar's going to want to brown real fast. Right. So we don't want to uh, we don't want to cook too too fast. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's, look, that's that's exactly what you want. So we're going to let that melt, and then we're going to go right in with our bread. A little bit of magic butter right there, brother. Bye. All right, dude. I'm ready for you. Here we come. Boom. Boom. Looks like that. You see? It's sizzling, but it's not going crazy. Okay, so how long? We're going to let that sit for a good two to three minutes, turn it, and we're going to let it develop a crust on both sides, but we don't want it to burn, so we're going to watch it kind of close. Yeah, so it's going to look a little brown. I mean, you no, want no, that's the okay. tinges Brown's of browning, fun. you just don't want it to be black. You don't yeah. want it to be black. You don't want it to burn. But that looks good, sounds good. Boy, it smells good. Well, these onions are looking pretty sweet over here, too, bro. They're starting to caramelize a little bit. You think uh, they're ready to come off? Yeah, I mean, we're going from saute to caramelize. In no time flat. In no time flat, and we're on a low fire, but it's just bubbling in all this beautiful butter over here. So, yeah, I'm going to pull this off. Get them up. Get them out of there. I'm going to get them out of there. And uh, so you're going to do some more. We yeah. got plenty we, of room. Yeah, we got some more room. We're just going to have to, whenever you do like this, guys, whenever you're doing... Uh, whenever you add into the pan, just keep track of what you had first. Like that. All right. Let me put this aside. I'll rinse my hands and we'll ch check those first ones. Yeah, see right. where we at. We got nope. a little ways to go, but like, like, see if we want to get a little impatient. Man, I'm going to stick my head in. You can. We're going to jack it up just a wee bit. It's like turning up the, the stove. And we're just gonna let that go. And look, that skin, that other skillet looks good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us a little olive oil around here. And we got a, I think we got a little pat of butter left. Oh, I got plenty of pat of butter, bro. Yeah, I don't want too much. Yeah, you see how that oil's dancing? That's what you want. We're gonna drop that in there. We're gonna saute some crawfish tails. And whenever we do, the reason why I'm, I'm showing you all that is because first of all. It's a quick and easy protein for any breakfast at any time. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. You have leftover crawfish from a crawfish boil, or you just have some craw. You bought a pound of crawfish. You have some crawfish left. Well, we live in Louisiana. That's what we, we got eat it for all the time. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we could use that yeah. for an omelet. We could saute some, put it on a salad. We could wrap them up in burritos. There's a lot of things we could do, and they're very, very fast because prepackaged crawfish is already cooked. They're already blanched. Right. So all we're gonna do is. Throw them in this nice hot uh, oil, toss them around, seize them, hit them with a little wine, get them some flavor, finish them off with some That's what top. the wine's for? That's what it's for. Oh, I, I thought it was. Listen to that. I didn't think you were drinking for breakfast. Well, you never know. You never know. Now, we're going to just let those sit and get happy for a couple minutes. Come back and check these. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Still could go a little longer. Yeah, they'll start to caramelize in the second. Oh, yeah. Just let them sit there and, and feel love. All right, well, look, let's go ahead and throw it to break. When we come back, we'll be that much further along. It's gonna be time to wrap up some burritos and eat some breakfast. Hey, what y'all think? Looking good. Come back, see this guy. Y'all be cool. Welcome back to the show, guys. Hey. Breakfast time. Let me tell you something. Well, we, got, we got some honey. Yes. Some steam syrup. Steam syrup. What are we going to use that on? Pan, pan, pan do. 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 Not throw. <laughs> do. So, yeah. So, look, this is the type of browning we was talking about. A little dark in some areas, mostly golden brown, a little soft. Oh, that's. Listen. But it, but it's cr a little crunchy. You, sometimes you don't have. To, sometimes you don't have to. You don't have to taste something to know it's going to be good. You just know it's, it's going to be good. good. Now know. look, we didn't have any powdered sugar, so we improvised. Yeah, but we yeah. have powdered sugar. Yeah, but most. Yeah, but we didn't have powdered sugar. How did we get powdered? How did sugar? we get this powdered sugar? Is you take regular, you know, granulated, granulated sugar. sugar and you, we put it in the bullet and we pulverized it until it became powdered sugar, guys. So you got to improvise. Good Cajun chef. 
It's all about it. You ain't going to remember everything. You got right. to be able to roll with it. So we got team corn, corn and team flour. flour. I'm a flour guy. I'm a team corn guy. Well, it's a good thing we got one of each. So look, I'm using, yeah, I'm using my fingers. Get So a little, little bit goes a long way. Huh? A little egg, a little cheese, a little yon yon, a little sauce. And we tasted that sauce. Y'all, I'm a believer. That sage is what makes it taste just like a Jimmy Dean sauce for a patty. Jimmy Dean ain't got nothing on it. I know. All right, so look, you just you put your, the folded side down, right? And so we're going to make these up, and then we're going to cover them with fall, and we're going to put them back on the pit so that they warm warm through the cheese melts. Everything gets lovely, lovely, it's lovely. It's all going to be together like mm. one big happy family mm. in my belly. In, get in my get belly. Get in my belly. Now, you look at the crawfish. Don't forget about the little crawfish. The crawfish. Tell them about the crawfish. Well, you sauteed it with butter and yep. a little bit of olive yep. oil. Then you came back with some white wine. Yep. And then we uh, we just kind of just warmed them up. But like they say, hot taste. Oh, c'est bon. C'est bon. Oh, you kidding me? How did it taste? You know, you seasoned it pretty good, and then we put a little bit of onion tops. And guys, it's just been sitting here, just all that flavor for the onions and everything, just marrying up. Now, I'm gonna make me a crawfish uh, uh, enchilada like that, or uh, a burrito. And you put the uh, you put the onion tops off the fire when it's just when the crawfish is just steaming, and that way they'll they'll wilt, they just wilt that uh, those onions. Mm, so good. All right. Last one, and I'm gonna let you take over. Okay, that'd be my pleasure. Like that. So yeah, look, and guys, the thing about burrito, burritos is like is like pizza. You, you think you want to put a lot of everything, but then you can't close it. So yeah, yeah so easy now. Little little bit, little bit. Now oh. some people would want to put like a little bit of you know, uh, oh, like a little bit of taco sauce inside of there. Could Absolutely, you, do you that? can put salsa. You can put you can do whatever you want. Salsa verde works great here. The green. The yeah. green one. Yeah, that's right. It's milder. It's not as sharp. Uh, very, very good. So go ahead, make yours up, man. Okay, boy, look, watch me do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of egg. Of course, we gotta get some of this beautiful crawfish. Mm. Put a few of them on there. Oh, ça. excellent. And then we're gonna take some of the onion. Yes. Comme ça. And then we're gonna take, oh, lots of cheese. Some lots cheese. and lots of some cheese. Some fromage. Oh, oh. Comme oh, ça, a little bit more cheese, a little bit more for Santa Claus. And then we're gonna take some of this. So you're doing surf and turf. I'm doing a little bit of everything, brother. A little bit of everything. Oh yeah. So hey guys, look, I'm coming in right here. I'm <laughs> coming in right here. Keith's gonna finish making his. When y'all come back, we all get to see his eating. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna put this back on the grill, it's let everything be, melt, and it's gonna be a la manger, baby. Y'all be good. Come back see us, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt, what time is it? Hello, Manger. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time, What's something here? What's something Man, here? look, look at that. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look we put happened. a little extra cheese on top. It melted. Guys, always look for the evidence. Look right here. Look. <laughs> see, you see the drip on the side? Yeah. See that? And we're missing some French toast. Well, I started. I ate one, and then you ate the other I one. Did. And then oh. Matt ate one. My oh. son Justin ate one. I'm absolutely not going to deny that. And it's pretty good, y'all. So look, check this out. You ready for the reaction shot? Oh yeah, look. We're just look gonna wrap that, that cheese. Mm. Look at that, nice and toasty. With the steam coming off. Perfect. Yeah. You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. This is fantastic. This is a great breakfast. Mm, mm, be at the mm. camp or you just uh, any day at the house, whatever. You could do most of this prep work at night, wrap them up in the morning, pop them on the grill. Ooh. Fantastic, right? That's delicious. Nice man. smoky flavor, mm -hmm. good balance of stuff in there. I mean, what more do you want? Pan pan do, that's what I want. There you go. So look, you got you got honey, we got some steams right here. Keith Duncan Steams, I'm gonna tell Champagne's thank you very much. If you wanna cook like we do, shop local, shop champagne. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you shop local? There's I would. One, there's one near you. I bet you there is. Mm -hmm. So just a quick recap. We did. We made our own uh, breakfast sausage. We got some beautiful champagne smoked sausages. We cooked it well. We made uh, Pepe do French toast out of French bread. Sauteed some crawfish. Made some beautiful breakfast burritos. Guys, make your next meal your best meal. Thank you so much for joining us here on Grilling with the Guru. Thank I'm you. talking for Keith Gidry because his mouth's full. Mm -hmm. See you next time. That'll be cool.